Say unto the righteous, the word of God says in Isaiah 3 verse 10, that it shall be well with him, for they shall eat the fruits of their doings. Dear child of God, the Lord is saying to you today, it shall be well. It surely would be well. Yes, we've come to understand that sometimes this is a phrase that many do not want to accept. This is a phrase many do not find comfortable. Because when things are not going well and then they are told it is well, sometimes they get agitated. But this is God's word. These are words of hope. This is a word to reassure you that God is in control. This is a word to reassure you that whatever it is that you deserve, you are going to get. That was why the scripture says, for you shall eat the fruit of your doings. Dear child of God, every of those labors, those things you deserve, those things you have worked for, those things you have expected to see happen, it will surely happen. And this is why you need to take hold of this word and say to yourself, I know that it will be well. I know that God is working something out. I may not see it, but it shall be well. Dear child of God, are you going through some down times? Are the situations around you buffeting you night and day? Do you feel forsaken, dear child of God? Do you feel that God has abandoned you somehow and then you're fighting the battles all by yourself do you feel like you are in some prolonged situation some troubles that do not want to end i want to assure you today that it shall be well god is with you god is by your side and he will make everything turn out for good dear child of god god will definitely help you out he would make sure he would do something in your life that even those that mocked, those that ridiculed you, dear child of God, those that made fun of you, those that made jest of you because of the things you had been going through, will come to beg, they will come to entreat your hand because God turned everything around. Please know this today. Yes, dear child of God, this is a word for you today. It will surely be well. You may have cried night and day, but it will be well, dear child of God. You may not see it coming, dear child of God. You may not see it coming anytime soon. You have been waiting for a change and no change has come. And you are thinking to yourself, would I ever see my breakthrough? Would I ever see this change that I've been believing in God for all of these times? Dear child of God, you may have been told to wait. And it seems like nothing is changing. I have this word for you today. It shall be well. It may look like nothing is going to happen soon, but I want to assure you, you will see God show up. And it will show up in ways that would amaze you in the mighty name of Jesus. So do not pay attention to those mockers, dear child of God. Those who have ridiculed you, those who are mocking you, those who are making you cry night and day, making you feel like your situation would not change. Dear child of God, please do not pay attention to them. But look unto God. Keep your eyes fixed on God, who is the author and the finisher of your faith. Dear child of God, fix your eyes on Jesus, who will turn everything around. Fix your eyes on the Lord who said I will do it. The God who said he is faithful, dear child of God, the God who said he will turn everything around and he will bring that change that will cause you to rejoice. That those who mocked, my God, those who had laughed at you, those who troubled you night and day, they will come back in you, seeing that everything became well with you. Dear child of God, you may be going through some struggles right now, but I want to assure you, it will be well with you. You may be going through some pains in your heart, but I want to assure you, it will be well with you. You may be going through turbulence in your marriage right now, but I want to assure you, it will be well with your marriage. 
Your finances may be going down. But I want to assure you, dear child of God, it will be well with your marriage. You may be going through some setback. Dear child of God, I want to assure you today, it shall be well with you in every way. And God will turn everything around. You see, the word of God in Jeremiah 15 verse 11 says, I will save you so that I can do good things, my God. He said, I will cause your enemies to ask you for help. Oh God, dear child of God, believe this word of God. That it will be well with you. Yes, it will be well with you. So well with you that those who had laughed at you, those who mocked, those who ridiculed you, those who made fun of you, they will come asking for help. They will come looking at you and pleading that you should be of help to them. He said, I will save you. I will do good things for you. You see, your God is a good God. He is a good Father. And He will turn everything around in such a way that the mockers will be silenced, dear child of God. Those who had made you to feel pain night and day, they will come seeing how God made everything well with you. And they will bury their heads in shame. He said, I will cause your enemies to ask you for help. Then they will come to you when they have great trouble. The Lord has said this word to you and I want you to believe it. He said, surely, very, very surely, dear child of God. He said, it shall be well with thy remnant. Verily, I will cause the enemies to entreat thee. Yes, they would entreat thee in the time of evil, in the time of the affliction. They would come entreating you. That is because God had turned everything around. Yes, you were the one in need of help in the past. You were the one who everyone were looking at you with the eyes of pity. But very soon, everything will turn around. That the people who were looking down on you will look up to you, dear child of God. Those who said you will not amount to much in life. Those who had written you off when it becomes well with you, dear child of God. They will look at you and they will bury their head in shame. Knowing that the Lord came through for you. Knowing that the Lord blessed you. Knowing that the Lord changed everything. And they cannot but come to you for help. God will turn your story around. It will make everything well with you. You may have been rejected, dear child of God. You may have been pushed to the side. But know this. Know this today that it shall be well with you. Your marriage may be failing. But it shall be well with your marriage in the mighty name of Jesus. But all you need to do right now is to say to God, I trust in you. My faith is in you. My hope is in you. I will keep my eyes on you. I will keep my focus on you. I will keep my gaze on you. He said he is the author and he is the finisher of your faith. You see, everything that God had begun, he would make sure he would bring them to completion. It may have lingered, but God will bring each and every one of them to completion, dear child of God. You see, God knows the things that you need. He knows the things that you deserve and He will make them yours. So arise every day saying to yourself, It shall be well with me. It shall be well with my family. It shall be well with my household. It is well with my mind. It is well with my health. It is well with my businesses, my pursuits. My aspirations, it will be well because God will bless me. He will bless my going out. He will bless my coming in. He will place his hands upon me. And it will cause me to receive mercy. It will cause me to enjoy his blessings. It will cause me to enjoy the benefit that comes from him and him only. Dear child of God, please seek the Lord. Seek the hands of the Lord today. Look to God. Seek the God of righteousness. The God who is full of mercy and compassion. 
and say to him, please, look towards me with your eyes of mercy and change my story, change my situation. I want it well with me. I have waited for so long. Yes, the things has been on my mind, but I've not received them yet. But I'm trusting in you. For you said, if I keep trusting in you, if I keep my faith in you, if I keep my confidence in you, you said you will not put me to shame. I'll keep my eyes stayed on you. And I know you will come through for me. And dear child of God, I want to assure you that day will come that everything will turn around for good. You will look around your life and you will say, Indeed, the Lord God of heaven had done me well. Dear child of God, you will look around you and say, Indeed, you will say, God made everything work finally. You will look around you and you say, Indeed, God had indeed settled me. You shall be settled. Dear child of God, you shall receive the blessings in full that you deserve. You may have sown, yes. You may have sown great things and expecting to receive more greater things, but nothing has been forthcoming. Do not worry. God knows about it. And he said your labors of love will not be in vain. So keep doing what you are doing, dear child of God. Yes, have you been praying night and day? And it seems like you are not heard. Do not stop praying. For the Lord God of heaven, the God who sees, the God who knows, and the God who said he will reward you, he will reward you when that time comes. Dear child of God, the day of your breakthrough will come. The day of your turnaround will come. It will surely come. And you will say, indeed, God have done me well. Dear child of God, this will be your testimony. Even the enemies, even the mockers, those who are looked down on you will say, indeed, God had done you well. You see, when God changed the story of Isaac and turned everything around for him, at the same place that nothing was working, God made sure everything began to work for that man, that the people who has spoken against him will come to sign deals with him. The people who have spoken against him, they will come saying that God had made him greater than them. And they will say to him, you have become greater than us. They knew that it became well with him. At that time, it did not seem well for the land. Yes, the land was in barrenness, their child of God. Does it seem like nothing is working around you? God will make something happen for you that you will be the rallying point in the mighty name of Jesus. And everyone will come to you saying, Indeed, God, I've done you well. And they will say, Please show us the way. God will bless you. He would uplift you. He would help you. He would help you so tremendously that it will be obvious that the hand of God is upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. So please keep repeating these words of hope to yourself. Keep repeating this affirmation to yourself, saying to yourself every day, I know that it shall be well. I may not see it right now, but I know God is working something out and it will be well with me. It will be well with my soul. It will be well with my life. It will be well with everything that concerns me in the mighty name of Jesus. There may be troubles today, dear child of God, but it shall be well and you shall be uplifted you will sit upon the throne that is meant for you in the mighty name of jesus your head will be raised up high in the mighty name of jesus you may have buried your head in reproach and shame because they have ridiculed you they have mocked you they have laughed at you but don't worry everything will change everything will turn around for good and verily those who had mocked you, those who had laughed at you, those who ridiculed you, those who made fun of you, they will come to entreat you, dear child of God. They will come pleading, yes, begging that you should be of help to them in the mighty name of Jesus. That situation will change. This is what I want you to know. That predicament will change. This is what I want you to know. That circumstance will come to an end. It will surely come to an end in the mighty name of Jesus. He says, surely there is an end. 
my God. He says, surely there is an end and the expectations of the righteous will not be cut short. Dear child of God, those things you are expecting will happen. They would happen. They would happen. They would happen very soon and you will dance again. You would have reasons to rejoice again. You would dance, you would dance knowing that God changed everything. He says, for surely, in Proverbs 23, verse 18, he says, For surely there is an end, and thine expectations shall not be cut short. Those things you are expecting, you will see them happen. And you will say, Indeed, God have wiped my tears away. God have lifted me up. Yes, God have caused me to shine again. God had brightened my face. Yes, you may be having some gloomy moments, dear child of God. You may have been down. You may have been depressed. You may have been in sorrow. You may have been in pains. But do not worry. Keep expecting. Keep expecting that visitation from God. Keep expecting God to turn your life around. Keep expecting God to show up for you. Keep expecting God to lift you up. Keep expecting God to make it happen. And most definitely, dear child of God, most surely, God will make it happen. And your joy shall be full. You will rejoice. You will be glad. You will dance. You will say, indeed, Jehovah reigns. Dear child of God, you will say, indeed, the Lord reigns forevermore because of the great things that he had done, because of the great things that he had made happen. So shall it be for you. So will you testify in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He says, say ye to the righteous, and you are the righteous. Dear child of God, you have given your best. You have given your commitment. You have given your service. You have given your devotion. You have prayed, yes. You have served God wholeheartedly. You have loved the very much you can. You have given your best. This is you, yes. This is you who have given so much and nothing had come back to you. Today, I have this good news for you. God have seen your righteousness. God have seen your good work. And then this is what he's saying to you. Say to the righteous, which is you, that it shall be well. Say to that upright man, which is you, that it shall be well. Say to that upright woman, which is you, that it shall be well for he will have the joy of the fruit of his ways get ready to testify for the lord will do you well get ready to testify dear child of god for you will say jehovah i don't be well and it has become well with me please repeat it to yourself say it over your family over your business Say it and keep saying it until it happens. Believe it with everything that you have until it happens. That it shall be where. Write it where you see it every day. Keep it close by to your heart. And say if the Lord has said it will be well with me. It doesn't matter what it is right now. It doesn't matter the situation. It doesn't matter the things I'm faced with. I know that it shall be well. And the glory of the Lord, yes, will rise over me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May the God of heaven, the God that you serve, may he not hide his face from you in the mighty name of Jesus. As you walk in his ways, dear child of God, may he bless you. May he bless you abundantly in the mighty name of Jesus. For the labors of your hands, dear child of God, the reward for it will come. You will eat the fruit of your labor and happy shall that be and happy would you be yes yes in the city in the morning in the noon there at night times everywhere you find yourself you will be happy because it became well with you in the mighty name of jesus the pattern scripture for you in psalms 128 verse 2 god's word says for thou shalt eat the labor of thine hands he says happy shall thou be and he shall be well with thee, my God. He says, happy shall thou be, and he shall be well with thee. Dear child of God, you eat the things that your hands have worked for. Yes, 
you are very sure that you would eat these things. You'll be happy because God will make good things happen to you and to your family in the mighty name of Jesus. And I know that it is settled. I know that it is settled. I know I'm assured that it is settled and it is well with you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Please hold on to this. And this is why in every time I have the opportunity to send a message across, it always ends with, it is well with you, beloved. And I'm saying it to you right now. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you and shalom.